Welcome to examsavi.com. In this tutorial, we'll see the video for 4G wireless system. In this, the topics to be discussed are an introduction to 4G technology, the types available for this wireless system. We'll see each types one by one like PAN, LAN, MAN and WAN, cellular network in case of wireless system. And finally, we'll see the advantages of 4G over 3G. And we'll see an introduction to 4G technology. So a wireless network is a type of computer network that uses some wireless data connections in order to connect a network nodes. So wireless communication is nothing but transfer of information between some nodes that were not collect connected by means of electrical conductor. So that is called a wireless communication. So here the most common communication used here seems like radio communication, radio waves has been used for wireless. And some of the examples are like cell phone networks, Wi-Fi local networks and terrestrial microwave networks. There's so many examples have been listed like GPS, global positioning system units, garage door openers and wireless computer mice keyboards, headsets, headphones, radio receivers, satellite television, broadcast television and cordless telephones. So all some examples we can list out for a 4G technology. This is just an introduction about a 4G wireless system. And the types available for this wireless system are wireless PAN, personal area network, Wireless LAN, local area network, wireless MAN, metropolitan area network, wireless WAN, wide area network, and cellular network. These are all the types to be discussed. And we'll see one by one. And first is wireless personal area network. It is called as VPANs, WPANs, shortly. So Wi Fi PANs are becoming a common place as an equipment designers now to start integration of Wi-Fi into a variety of consumer electronics. So Wi-Fi, the white pans, called as white pans, that is mainly used for interconnecting devices with a small area. So that is generally within a person's reach. It should be in a reach with a small distance, you can see. For example, like Bluetooth radio and inv invisible infrared light rays supports for WPAN, wireless person area network, in order to connect a headset to a laptop. So here, this is an example for uh, WPAN. And also for this, Zigbee also supports for some application. Even Intel, like Intel My Wi-Fi and Windows Virtual Wi-Fi capabilities have made that Wi-Fi personal area network a simpler and very easier to set up and also to configure. That's about a wireless personal area network. We'll see wireless local area network, the blue lab. Here it was a, a product of IEEE 802.11 standard. These standards have been marketed under Wi-Fi brand name. So this wireless LAN has been marketed under Wi-Fi brand name. So fixed wireless technology has been implemented from point-to-point -point links between computers or any other networks for two distant locations. In order to, in, often using a dedicated path, we are using uh, like a microwave or a modulated laser light beams for a line of sight paths. So it is often used in cities also to connect networks to our more buildings. We can, without installing also we can use these types. So it, it, it links, it, it connects like two or more devices with a shorter distance using a wireless distribution method, usually providing a connection through an access point, example like internet access. Here the use of spread spectrum 
are those users to move around some local area we can say local coverage area so if it is local area then we need to go for a wireless local area network technology and then wireless metropolitan area network here so this will be used in case of metropolitan so these all types of wireless network connect several wireless lands so group of local area networks has been connected in case of metropolitan area network if you have to connect a group of local this networks local area networks then that will be called as a metropolitan so they we are using a network called wireless metropolitan area network system here wimax is a type of wireless metropolitan media network and that will be described by IEEE 802.16 standards and wireless WAN wide area network some uh, like wireless WANs are also a wireless networks that typically covers a large area compared to all those things like PAN, WAN, LAN and MAN here it covers a large area just between like uh, neighboring towns and cities so it is connecting town to town and city to city if you have to connect town to town or city to city with some long distance then we can go for a wireless wide area network so these connections are available between access points usually like point to point microwave links using some parabolic dishes with a frequency of 2.4 gigahertz band you know instead of like omnidirectional antennas we are using parabolic antennas because omnidirectional will be useful for smaller networks but this is for long distance we are using parabolic antenna this typically contains uh, base station gateways and access points because we need to transmit from one to one town to other town so it will contain basically like the base station gateways and access points and bridging relays for proper communication instead of any losses of information we can use all those things and other configurations like a mesh system where each access points will access a relay also when you are combining this with a reliable energy system like photovoltaic solar panels or wind system they, they that will be called as a standalone like standalone so these networks can be used to connect a branch offices in a business if you take a business it connects a branch offices or some public internet access system we can see and next is cellular network so we can say it as a cellular network or a mobile network it's nothing but a radio network you're full of with dealing with radio waves so that will be distributed over uh, land areas so why we are so calling as cells it seems it is distributed over the land areas each served by at least one fixed location like transceiver so there will be available of transmitter and receiver at a time so that will be called as a base station or a cell site this is a, what a cellular network how like mobile communication has been happening the cellular network each cell uses some set of radio frequencies for immediate transferring to immediate networks which is nearby in order to avoid any interferences some noises in order to avoid noises so each will be maintaining some set of frequencies for avoiding a noise so when these neighboring cells are joined together then the radio coverage will be like wide geographic area so here the coverage will be wide in advantages of 3g over 4g <coughs> here if we if you are dealing with a 3g networking like faster data transfer will be there so with a speed of 2 megabytes per second and this offers a powerful multimedia services so you can develop these using these you can develop some applications like online billing systems video conferencing and so so on so and also this will develop some visual voicemail apps too based on 3g 
why this is preferred so means basically for uh, mobile phone games especially with the graphics and animated related issues so because of this we are selecting 3g so all some advantages of 3g and uh, over this we have some disadvantages too in order to overcome that 4g has been arised we will see the advantages of 4g 4g is very good for advanced mobile services for mainly for video and movie streaming and more than speed of 3g it can offer very good speed compared to 3g or wi-fi so because of those means we are going for 4g unlike wi-fi 4g has far expanded coverage the coverage will be area will be more compared to wi-fi and also it offers a less constant less or more according to our wish it can connect and users especially like business users they will use 4g for more security than wi-fi so there you can have a security safety that will be privacy of you so no one can access your data so this is all the advantages of 4g and 3g and thank you for watching this video